guys, me again, Danny at DW Aquatics, doing another video for you. Um, right, this video is going to be a little bit different to all the videos that I've done in the past on this channel. Um, this video is going to be a review. A review on food, um, obviously uh, fish food. Um, and this fish food is to feed a fish that I would never see myself owning. Um, it's one of those fish that many people disagree with, that I was one of those people, um, but that is for another topic, another day. Uh, I'm not doing this video to spread hatred on this fish. Anyway, that fish being a flower on cichlid, in my opinion, I would much rather keep a flower on than the likes of a parrot cichlid, but again, whoops. I'm not doing this video to discuss the nature of the fish. We all know it's a hybrid, we all know it can't be found in the wild. Uh, personally, I actually don't mind this fish after keeping it. He's got brilliant character and a good personality. However, if he develops the stupid head, uh, and I'm really sorry if this offends any of you guys watching this, I am 100% definitely not in agreement with promoting the fatty lump on the head, otherwise known as the cock. Laugh if you want, that's what it's called, that's what they call it. Um, professionals normally call it a nuptial hump, but it's a bit more extreme than just an average nuptial hump. Um, it is indeed a water or fat filled balloon if you like on the head, anyway, again. That's not what this is about. This video is to do a food review on those of you who are getting into keeping flower horns and you're wondering what's the best thing to feed your beloved flower horn. There's many foods on the market. Um, I've tried a few myself. Um, one food that I haven't got for review is called Ionic Red. If you've got yourself a red based flower horn, like a double Z red dragon or a, a red camphor malau, or any of those species, certainly give that food a go. It, it is a good food, really pronounces the red um, and enhances the uh, jewels on the flower lawn flanks. But today we're talking about this brand. I don't quite know how you pronounce it properly. I'm going to say Oki Okiko or Okiko, that, that sounds better doesn't it guys, Okiko, that is now how I'm pronouncing this food, Okiko. So for review we have Okiko Quick Redhead Mark, um, which is a high protein pellet form food, uh, rich in astaxanthin, which is a, a red colour enhancer, and as I say, it is loaded with um, protein. We've got that one. I also have Okiko Platinum Head Huncher and Colour Faster, which looks like that. Um, this one uh, not only enhances the colour, but it also enhances the head, which thankfully, in my position, my flower horn doesn't have the correct genes to develop the uh, big cock. <laughs> Take that as you will. And finally, I have a Kiko head up puncher for flower horn, and that looks like that. There'll be um, a link in the description below where you can buy a multi pack which features all three of these products and an extra one that I've actually ran out of. Um, based in Thailand, uh, so they post from Thailand, uh, I think it works out to about £15 for four 100 gram packets. It takes about seven days to arrive, but £15 for 400 gram of high quality uh, flower home food that carries a good brand is much worth the money. So, here's what we're going to do, we're going to do a quick dive down, we're going to look at the different pellets close up, um, so you can see the sort of shape and size of them and the colouring, 
um, and then we'll come back up and we'll talk about each um, flower home food um, and then we'll wrap this sucker up and you can be on your merry way to the link and buy your own. Okay, back in ammo. Hi guys, me again. Um, I'm back now that I've sorted these foods out. I forgot to get them out um, before shooting a video. Dumbass. Anyway, I've done it now. So this one is the Head Up Huncher in the green packet. Now, as you can see, it's very dull in colour. Um, there's my finger for size comparison. Uh, they're not the biggest pellets. Nice ready colour. Next, we have the quick red head mark. Down here, as you can see, there's not much difference at all. Now, these pellets are darker in colour than the latter. Again, there is my finger for size comparison. And lastly, we have Head Up Huncher and Colour Faster. And that's what them bad boys look like. As you can see, again, brighter in colour, more red. And there is my finger again. The size comparison, all these pellets are the same size. I would say they are one and a half to two mil size pellets. Um, the packaging for the size pellets is pretty damn useless. Um, I'll just show you quick. That's all you get. And they've ticked large. Now, I really wouldn't say they were large, would you? Mm, didn't think so. I would have said they were more like medium, but as you can see, it's large. Marked on all three bloody packets. Cool beans, Okiko. I think you might want to check your sizes out, maybe. But nevertheless, 100% brilliant foods. So we will wrap this little look over up. I will tidy up my mess and I'll be back with you real quick. Ta da! And I'm back once again. Back with the Renegade Master. Um, all you old school dance lovers will know what I was on about then. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're back with this review. Now, I've talked a little bit about flower horns. Uh, I might as well show you my flower horn. You up for that? Let's go. Now, he is an aggressive bugger. Most flower horns are quite bloody aggressive. Um, I will be showing pictures, um, so you'll see exactly how he looked in the first two days of having him, and then you will see gradually what he looks like up to now, just using, purely just using those foods with um, a bit of beef heart and the odd prawn and mussel. Uh, he gets water changed every single day. He's in an 150 litre tank. He's a beautiful fish, but boy, does he not like fingers. He does not like fingers. Now he's making a lion out of me. Come on. Yeah. He don't like fingers. He doesn't like girls' bums. When I've got customers buying fish and they're bending over to see in the tank behind me, he bites or attempting to bite the bum. You put a mirror in there and he goes ape shit, literally. Um, he bites you, it hurts, it draws blood, you shit yourself. And then you think to yourself, did he really just do that? So you put your hand in and he does it again, and you shit yourself again. And it's all fun and games. Anyway, that's my flower on. Let's get back to the review. Put you guys resting on there. Are we good? Yep, we're good. Right, so back to this. I've only got six minutes left, so let's speed through this like heart attack. Right, so platinum head puncture and colour faster. These 
these, all these foods combined, 100% will definitely change the colour of your flower horn. Um, it'll bring his confidence out. It will promote his nuptial hump as well. Specifically, if your flower horn has got the genes to get that big giant blue, he hasn't. Um, but he, obviously, all flower horns do have carry the gene to get some kind of hump and these have certainly helped him develop his hump. Um, he is only eight months old um, and he's approaching nine inches, so boy do they grow fast. So yeah, head up puncher and colour factor, this is what the pack says. Uh, let me find a bit that's in English, here we go. Okiko Platinum is a unique formulated fish feed to induce speedy head growth for all flower horn breed. Shape of head growth will also improve through, through constant feeding. Feed is high in protein so as to help fish grow at a faster rate and improve in head growth. I definitely agree with that. Um, he just won't stop bloody growing. High content of spirulina and krill extracts, which are also key vitamins for fish. Um, with other natural colour enhancing elements that will improve the fish's sparkle dots. I love the uh, common speech there. Within one to two weeks. Special immune substance added to increase the fish's resistance against diseases. I've got slight OCD and I'll clean my tanks off, so I can't really put that bit to the test. But I definitely agree with everything else. Um, the food definitely improves the head growth. It definitely improves the general shape of the fish and how the, how the fish holds its fins. And it definitely improves the colour 100%. And it also definitely enhances the growth rate. As I say, he's only eight months old and he's easily, easily nine inches now. So that one was Okiko Platinum Head Huncher and Colour Faster in that one. This one is Okiko Quick Redhead Mark, a status in plus. And this one says, select high quality fish meal, provides essential proteins for healthy growth of the fish. Concentrated shrimp extracts highly attract the fish to feed. Rich in vitamins and minerals sustains complete development and growth of the fish. Formulated with active yeast powder, helps probiotic growth and enhances immunity. High quality fish meal, soybean meal, yeast powder, wheat flour, colour enhancer, attractants, fish oil, soy lecithin, vitamins and minerals are what is in this. Um, the crude protein is 42%, crude fat is 5%, crude ash is 12%, crude fibre is 3% and moisture is 10 bloody percent. And lastly, the last one. This is head up puncture, or have we already done? No, we haven't. And this one says, formulated with natural astaxacin and purine gives bright and beautiful colour to the fish. This bit doesn't make sense. Rice in high quality. I think that's supposed to say rich in high quality calcium formula. Help the growth of the fish front. Constrains, obviously that means contains, contains stable vitamin C and helps bioavailability of the fish. Avoids nutrient leach into water. That basically means um, it helps, well, the food um, won't foul up your water if it's left in too long. Um, and enhances immunity. So they basically all enhance growth, they all enhance the colours, they all enhance immunity, um, but they do have different levels of ingredients. So what's my take on it all? Super food, super price, to get your flower on standing out. Would I recommend the food? Absolutely yes I would. Should you go and buy the food? Yes you absolutely should. Now, it's a bit of a long video, I appreciate that, but I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, if you've got any comments, leave them down below. Um, please like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you again in a video soon.